What's going on, everybody? It's Clouds from Intoxicaming here. Um, I was reached out to by uh, the Quantum Astrophysicist Guild, and they gave me a series of some copies of games, and they were wanting to know if I would stream them. I'm actually going to do some YouTube videos on them, and I can say that the trailers looked amazing for all the games, and I'm actually going to do playthroughs of just about every piece of them, because they look fantastic. But um, I would like to thank them very much for this, because they look great, and Especially with them reaching out to me, uh, giving me codes for the game, so I really do appreciate it. But we're gonna go ahead and get this started um, and go from there. Let's see what what we got here. Difficulty. Level progress doesn't reset after death. Okay, we'll go standard. I, Kate, Elder Mage of the Eternal Fellowship, bestow upon you the position of Ambassador of Time. Ooh, what a lovely position. You will represent the Eternal Fellowship among the kingdoms, and you shall serve the realm following the guidance of Eliador. Or Elid Elidor? And the Council of the Oracles. Speak now or forever hold the fellowship's oath until the end of time. Very well, Gregor. Cast your eyes into the realm, soul, and guide, and be guided by her everlasting wisdom. Eh! Why are we stabbing ourselves? Okay, so, you can talk to her. <laughs> Your training starts now. Off to the right, there are some very talented members eager to meet you. I will catch up with you at the end of your training. Yay. Okay, let's go. Hello there. Good day, I'm here to teach you about the most interesting part of being in the fellowship. The manipulation of time. Press and hold to stop time. You can use this ability to escape your enemies or lengthen your window to strike them against them. Remember, while, you, while we can stop time, no one knows how to go back in time. See if you can stop one of these arrows while it's flying right at you. Okay, so... <laughs> Not I. Ooh, shoot. Oh, that was pretty interesting. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's talk to this guy. All right, let's teach you about the basic combat. Spear in your hand is called a martial weapon. <coughs> you can aim it with the mouse and throw it by pressing. As a maze, martial weapons will find their way back to your hands after being thrown. Practice on those dummies and meet me at the next station. Okay. Okay. I, I have practiced. Ooh, magic. Ooh. Ooh. Keep up the pace and we'll be done in no time. Magic weapons are more powerful than martial weapons. You can use that or Q to switch to and from your magic weapons. Magic weapons can be used to break certain structures. Magic weapons can see one mana point per shot fired. Mana is located at the top left of the HUD. Be sure to keep an eye on it and it will regenerate on its own. Okay, so there's a limited distance you can throw. That's 
Okay. Okay, so you can use G to change your loadout. Sometimes you'll find yourself wanting different weapons for the road ahead of you. Thankfully, you have plenty of options at your disposal once you grow your armory. Press G to open the loadout menu. This will allow you to swap between your current weapons and armor for alternatives better suited to you. Okay. I need a sword. I am not a spirit guy. Ooh. I found food! It's it's a raw steak. You gotta love a raw steak. Okay. Back with the Temporal stasis object shrine. Shoot them while time is stopped. Okay. What do you got to say? Good to see you again, Ambassador Gregor. I hope your combat training has gone well so far. You see that shining boulder over there? That boulder is a temple stasis object. Don't let the long name fool you. They're quite simple. These objects build force field as they are suspended in time. Shooting one while stopping time will blow it up in a brilliant fashion. Ooh. So, if I whack it. Ooh, more food. Yay. This our final training as some enemies are troublesome than or more troublesome than others and can't be damaged normally. You'll be able to tell if they're invincible by the shield that appears when struck. Don't worry though, any foe can be made vulnerable in some way. Typically these enemies will show weakness after an attack of some sort. You can tell when they're vulnerable when a sword appears. These larger combat diamonds exhibit behavior, I'm sure you can handle them. Okay. So when they move their shield. about food. Food plants your health can be eaten by pressing E. It takes two food to eat or heal one heart. Don't be afraid to eat if you follow battle any food you ate. That life will be returned to you. Food will also carry over from portal portal so stock up if you can. Can I get the bunny? Oh my god the bunnies have food. That is terrible but I love it. Okay, portals open when all hostiles are killed. They regenerate health and mana. Good job, Gregor. Once we're done here, you will have completed your training. Let's talk about portals. Portals are the exit point of every level. They will only open after all hostiles have been defeated. Portals will also heal you and refill your mana. They're really useful to get around. All right then, that concludes your training. Now let's go. You and I have some work to do. What kind of work we got? Are we making pizzas? <laughs> All right, let's. Or him? Or... Here we go. <laughs> this swamp should reinforce your training. That. Crumbling bridge ahead can only be passed while using your time stop power, so remember to hold that. Okay. You'll find monster the monster slough in this dungeon. Or swamp. Yeah. They are the souls of the rejected from the paradise of other world, and it's our duty to cleanse them from Thea. Okay. Oh, 
Let's get to cleansing. Yeah. Oh no! Come here, bunny. I need your steak. Monsters now. Oh, hello. No, you don't. Where'd you go? Come here. Come here, mister. So we got enemy. Okay. Let's see, is there anything down here? Okay, that's just the way I was. Alright. The portal. <laughs> that brute up ahead can only be defeated by waiting for him to become vulnerable when that appears to attack. Word. I have a feeling. Is that a bunny? Okay. Um, I'll take that. Okay, we got a runner. Uh, these guys get to go. Um, Alright, let's test out this magic. Hi, dude. So far, this area seems to be a bit more challenging. Remember, use your powers in combat. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, we got some meat there. No, 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 no. I wish he could hit them on the way back. That would be... Oh my goodness. Okay. 
boxes. Disable him on the slough. I wasn't expecting to run into her here, but she should be an appropriate test of your skills. Okay, so we got a boss. Oh, yeah. This is probably gonna be my first death. No! No! Come on. Oh, boy. Hello. First day, Gregor. I won't be training you much longer. The council wants me to retire and begin my path to becoming an oracle. That's a cool little city. I enjoy the freedom and adventures afforded to the elder ma to elder mages, but I may be able to accomplish more for the good of the realm on the council. Ah, there she is, Thamar uh, Tamaris. In all of her beauty, the strongest of the fellowship's power and influence. As long as she stands, the realm will never. What? Oh, great! <laughs> Crap! <laughs> oh my God, that's terrible! That is terrible! Thank the Morgan you survived. I can't move the, re the my remaining power is barely keeping me alive. Gregor, go see how what happened over there. 
is the world gate. Those portals will allow you to cross the realm quickly. The left portal will take you to confront the red army in the Everwood. King Avertak has warned us or wanted us dead since he took the throne. The central portal will take you to Mount Arwen. Climb to the summit, confront the high priestess of the druid. She is convinced our powers will cause the end of the world. The portal on the right will take you to the outskirts of whatever remains of Tamaris. Who knows what horror will greet you there. Go find out who did this and return here if you're finding a path too difficult. Okay. Well, I think that's good for episode one. Okay, uh, she just says, uh, gotcha. Alright, that's a good episode one. Thank y'all for coming by. And, um, we will see y'all in the next video. Take care. Bye.